I didn't know that person wanted to change their life because of my voice. I didn't know that person wanted to come out of, of, of a life of crime because of my poetry. I didn't know this person, you know, wanted to, 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 to get out of a life of crime because 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 now they want to get in, into into IT and computer programming. Now, now I know. Wow. When you interact with people, you'll see how people are influenced by you. You're like, oh, now I see what my purpose is. And that's that's what we need to help other people. When yeah. you hear people say, it's my purpose in life. Right. Your purpose is to be an influence to somebody else. Your purpose is to open up your ears and listen and don't talk so much. So what it says is, Think twice before you speak, because your words and influence will plant the seed of others um, of either success or failure in the mind of others. So, so if we, we think first and then we speak with wisdom, then that's where it will influence some, with somebody with positivity, and it will build success in other people. When you see that success, then you'll know that's what my purpose is. Amen. And so, what is influence? It's the capacity to have an effect on the character development. A behavior of someone or something to the effect itself. Amen. It's the capacity to have an effect on the character development or behavior of someone or something or the effect itself. Thank you, Jesus. That's what the that's what influence is. That's your purpose. To be an influence of um, to, to others. That's good. Learn that's good. those who can teach you. Be teachable. Yes. Open up your ears and listen. I haven't learned that. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm, all, I'm always, you know, open to learn. Yes. Heard somebody tell me one day, you know, they, they were preaching. They said, I, nobody, nobody can teach me anything. Oh, that means you're going to be very, you're going to be a failure as a preacher. Because you, you can't learn anything. <laughs> There's nothing else you can do. You, you've, already, you've already reached the pinnacle if you, can never, if you can never learn anything. If you say you can't learn anything, you've already reached it. You know, you're, 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 um, you're living. So closing, Matthew 28, 37 to 39. That's good, preacher. God bless you, man. Matthew 28. 37 to 39. And I'm going to read this one. Okay. Uh, you got it? I want 28, but you said 37? Well, 37. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Ooh, I messed up. Hold on. Um, let's see, where's the one that says, uh, love God with all your heart, soul, and mind? It is so important 
You, God did not create you on this earth to just be in communion with him and him alone. And you're going to be stuck in your closet in your holy place in sackcloth and ashes, you know, and always just bowing down like a monk and never, never go to the outside world. His whole purpose is, okay, now you love me. Now let's, you know, because you love yourself, now it's time to love, love man. That way, with you loving yourself and loving, loving your neighbor as yourself, then you won't have to steal, kill, or commit, or lie, or, or commit adultery, and, 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 and false witness, all, all of these things. You can learn how to live peaceably with all men. Amen. And that is influence. That is God's main purpose. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Amen. Main purpose. Love yourself first. Once you learn to love yourself, it's easy to love your neighbor. And that way, you can overcome anything. Stress, drop in the bucket. Hurt, drop in the bucket. Sadness, drop in the bucket. You know, somebody coming against you, somebody forsaking you, drop in the bucket. Because you love yourself now. You don't have to depend on anybody else's feelings. Because you love yourself. Why? Because of the love of the Father. Because God is love, He placed that love in you. No greater love in no man than this. And the man laid, laid down his life for his friends. And Jesus Christ, what did He do? He laid down His life for the sins of the world. Amen. So, what is your purpose? Your purpose is people. Your purpose in God is people. Once you learn to love yourself, to love others, and interact with people, be an influencer to those people, then you then, then there's, there's nothing that you can't do. The Bible says, I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Who strengthens me. You can do it all. So, remember, that's what your purpose is. Amen. May God bless you. May God have a blessing to me for this word. And any questions, any comments about what we talked about? So you said that we can live peacefully with all men, right? Mm -hmm. But I think there's like a verse in, in the New Testament here in Romans, I think it was in Romans, where Paul said that, uh, we, we, I'm paraphrasing that we can try our best to live, to live or if, if possible, to live. If possible, yeah. Yeah, if possible. Yeah. So there can be cases, even though you have this love inside you, to show the people that you still might not be able to live peacefully with all of it. And see, that, that, that's where the humanistic part of us comes in. So, so you know, it's possible for us to live, because to live peace, for me to live peaceably with you, it, it, it's a two-sided thing. If I'm a peaceable person and I'm trying to make sure that we're living peaceably with one another, it has to come from you too. Because you may want to rip my heart out. That's where the, it, it, if at all possible, comes in. You know what I mean? Because because now you have to, and then that's where a wise man, the Bible says a wise man wins, wins his soul. You know, that's where you have to be wise on how to have those hard conversations. Mm -hmm. Heard that in the Bible yes. study. About, heard, heard that in church. Have, learn, use wisdom on how to deal with those hard people. Because again, the human human side of us are like, Ugh, Lord, I tried. <laughs> I made an effort. Yeah. But oh my God, this person is like impossible. That's Maybe that person, that may be some deep city issue, see the issues, and then you're like, well, well, Michael, why are you acting this way towards me? And you're like, oh, I never knew that. Man, I'm sorry. You know, because at one point, I wanted to, I wanted to, to, to break your nose. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then, it's right here. That's where the wisdom comes in. Learn the Bible says, "Know them the labor, the labor among you." 
because those who don't have money, you still 